Do you know what today is? It's retrieving Roman day. sweetie. I love you, Roman.
show everybody how big your legs are getting? They're so long now. Ow! Ow! Don't do that. Don't do that. Big boy. Come here. Come here. Hi. <laughs> Where did it go? You knocked it out of my head. It's over here. Turn around. Look. Look. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to officially introduce you to Roman. Back here. Over here. This hand. 17 weeks. He's a big boy now. This is not the fluff ball you just saw. Let's get into the things I suggest. Uh, when flying to get a puppy. <laughs> flying to pick up a puppy and bring it home. Um, basically, one day of travel is best. Well, we did the whole plane thing in one day um, because we didn't want to have to go through the trauma of being driven to the airport um, and then going to a hotel and doing the plane on the following day. It's just, it, it for him, after having done what, what I did, I know it would have been it would have been too much for him. So I really suggest the one day of travel. Um, but it's gonna be a really long day. So be prepared for that. Um, pack things to eat that you can take on the plane if you're one of those people. The first thing really for us was the travel bag. And as you can see, he would no longer currently fit. Up he was 13 pounds, 13, 24 pounds. So it worked really well for him being at our feet. we got to the airport. We met his breeder and she gave us a bag um, with food and a toy and a blanket from the litter. Uh, but the only things we took with us for him um, were baby wipes and uh, pee pads and the bag. Check-in and security. Um, my number one piece of advice is be early. <laughs> they have to weigh them um, and when we and when we went through, uh, it took quite a long time um, just to get through check-in section. And then we had to go through security with him. And um, when we went through security, we had already been told that he wasn't allowed out of the, the carry-on bag. He had to be put through the metal detector. Uh, so we had to be taken out of the carrier and carried through metal detection. So just be aware that they might give you conflicting information. <laughs> Another fun fact we should talk about is motion sickness and especially golden retrievers and puppies. <laughs> so he had motion sickness after the first flight. It was quite turbulent going into Montreal from Ottawa. So that was a bathroom cleanup and change of the pad and he was good. We didn't give him anything before he went on the plane. She didn't give him anything, like the breeder didn't give him anything. Um, it was pretty stressful just as a day for a puppy. He was pretty tired, and in, you saw in that clip, um, in the carrier in Montreal, sleeping. With his little nose. So motion sickness, beware. As you guys know, he was at our feet. Um, and that was really stressful, but it would have been way more stressful had he not been with us or underneath in the bottom of the plane. I highly suggest um, doing the ride along in cabin with the puppy. Um, it was, it was awesome. <laughs> um, really the last thing I wanted to mention is that we have been doing kennel training with him at night. He does best in the kennel. He does not settle well in human bed. Gets really excited and doesn't want to calm down. So, and it's been working really well for him. It's his own space and um, yeah, he settles right down and goes to bed. So that's been a really nice implementation and I also suggest doing that. If you have the ability to have a kettle in your space. Good boy. So nice in the sun. 
What are you doing, sweet man? Oh, not on the phone. <laughs> Do you guys have any questions about the eight to 16 weeks? Everything that maybe I didn't include in this little video, um, leave the comments down below. So thank you for watching if you made it this far. I'm going to love you and leave you here because it is starting to get cold. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.